Good evening. Welcome to another Paintball and Print Tube Edgar Leshy 2 video. Here we are, Edgar Leshy 2. You know, I've had a lot of requests for a shooting video, and I'm going to do one today. And it's going to be quite a short video, so double bonus. So, I realise that I've had the Edgar Leshy 2 now for about a year, and I've dabbled with many pellets, and I still don't know which one I prefer in it. So, I might do a few of these videos to see which ones work best in it. Uh, but today's video is going to be about pointy pellets. So, I've got five uh, tins of pointy pellets, so I'm going to try out today. So we've got JSB Stratton, pretty common, JSB Polymags, pointy Excites, pointy Crossmans, and Power Pels, which are pointy Acupels. So I've got uh, a kind of 18 yard range set up down there. Uh, I'm going to sit it on uh, on a bag uh, with a bipod, uh, so it's nice and steady. Less chance of me messing it up, <coughs> and uh, we shall give it a try. Uh, we've uh, got um, managed to get a box which has got like numbers, circled numbers on it. You'll see in a minute, um, which are about the size of a 5p. I'll stick a 5p on there just uh, so you can compare the size. Um, so that's uh, that makes good hole definition when you shoot it. So um, let's uh, let's start shooting, and we'll keep this video short. Thanks a lot. One last thing, I'm going to shoot eight shots each for each of the pellets. Use the same mag. The gun has just been filled up, so it's uh, maximum level. And uh, yeah, so it's uh, as you know, it's a uh, self-indexing rifle. So because I'm on such a stable base, uh, I'll be able to shoot quite quickly. So all the shots you're going to see are absolutely real time, so uh, we're going to we're going to whiz through this pretty quick. Right now, shoot it. Promise, go. Okay, let's start with the excite. We're, uh, we're going to use the same magazine for uh, every single uh, pellet. Uh, the reason being, make it fair, obviously. Um, but some of these pellets tend to be a little bit um, magazine pussy. It's a bit strange, but. Do, 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 do. Then, yeah, right Let's go. Okay, not a bad start for the uh, excites. Next, we're going to go for Stratton uh, by JSB. Um, and this time, because those excites just encroached a little bit on the next number, uh, we're going to go for. Let's have a look at this one. Let's go for number three. Number three of the 123 top line. So we're just popping these in, exactly the same. And last one, three. Let's not forget that. Right, Stratton, let's try them. Wow, they were decent, weren't they? 
I'm actually shooting a, a little bit low, so I did decide to go with them. I'll have to adjust the scope down a bit. Um, so let's just get the magazine ready again. It's a bit hard on the nails, but after a while it's not quite so. Now we're going to go for power pels, which are the pointy version of. Um, um, I can't remember. It's a normal version, isn't it? Uh, Acupel, Acupel, that's right. Right, so let's have a try these. So, get in there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. in the gun and we shall go with these They were good too, weren't they? One went high, didn't it? That was one flyer. So that's the first proper flyer we've had so far. Not the camera. That's it. Let's reconnect that. Right, so next we are going for Fred's Polymags. Now, I have to admit, I don't think these fit overly well in this magazine. Um, they do fit in the magazine, but the little polymer point sticks out just a tiny bit. Um, it does, obviously, as it rotates, it pushes it back in, so it does rotate. And I just wonder whether it affects how it sits into the barrel, whether or not it blunts that tip a little bit. See so that they're going. I don't know if you can see. You can just see if, you, if I lock it flat. You can just see, there you go, there's a. Just, but you can just see that. Like, can you just see how they protrude? And knock it back back down. You just, you know, just protrude it, look it, and push them back. And they don't protrude anymore. Apart from that one. There you go, like that. So, yeah, so I just wonder about these. But let's go anyway. Let's give them a go. Predator Polymag, this time we're going to go for number, what are we looking at? Let's go for number two, bottom line. Well, talked myself into a corner there, didn't I? That didn't seem to affect them at all. That's a great grouping from the, the uh, Predator Polymags. So last but not least, number five is Pointy Crossman's. Uh, let's get that magazine out again. Um, these Pointy Crossman's, they look a lot like the um, Pointy Power Pals. I don't know if they've been made by the same company, but uh, sorry, you can't see what I'm doing. Uh, but yeah, they're very similar in their kind of sheen and their style. Uh, they've got kind of a they're quite shallow skirt look, whereas the Strattons have quite a deep skirt. But then the Stratton skirts tend to get a bit bent in the tin, so it's got quite shallow skirts. So let's pop that on again. Yeah, right. So this time we're going to go four. Look through the other scope. Let's go for number something. Let's go for number eight. Number eight. It's miles away from the others. Number eight. Bottom line. Crossman pointy.
Okay, so how do we do? If you're listening to a proper shooting video, isn't it? I know some of you are very interested in shooting videos, so. Right, so we've had a five here. Took me ages to line these up, by the way, you try balancing them. <coughs> and here's my results. Okay, so what have we got? So we started with the, which one was it? Which one do we start with? Excites, didn't we? Excites are there. So I'd say that's a pretty good look. Let's, uh, let's get me a 5P. Just about nearly, just that one, just one snuck out there, that 5P. So yeah, but that's a good group. That's a good group. Uh, second was Stratton. Uh, Stratton was over here. That's right, yeah, that one was the one that was going a bit low. So Stratton, easy covered by that 5P. Easy. That's excellent. Uh, third was Tower Pearl. Which were these ones? That was the one with the flyer. So you can ignore the flyer or not, but out of eight quick shots, all covered, one flyer. Not bad, not bad. I think uh, Stratton are winning so far. Uh, then we went on to Excite. No, it wasn't Excite, it was uh, Polymag. Keep with me, this is unscripted, off the top of my head. I'm not professional. I know it's shooting that way. So, uh, that one, Polymag. Shot a bit low, a bit like the Stratton, maybe it's a JSP thing. Uh, there you go, that's covered by that 5P. Nice, covered by the 5P. And then last but not least was Crossman uh, America. That's right there from. Look away, well, you can see for yourself. I dropped the 5P, but <laughs> couldn't get any more accurate than that. Eight shots in there. Eight shots inside that. Yeah, can't get them through to it. I mean, they're all pretty good. Cool. One flyer out of what's that? Five eighths, forty, forty shots. One flyer, two if you're being particularly harsh. I'd say that's pretty good. I'd say that the Edgar Lecher two likes pointy pennants. Um, but today's winner is you knocked him over there, uh, Crossman. So if you've got an Edgar Lecher two, fancy a bit of pointy shooting, try Crossman. Thanks a lot. Uh, don't forget, like, subscribe and all those other things. See you next time. Cheers.